Well, good morning once again. It is Wednesday the 27th of March and two things have arrived here in the garage. Number one is the Yamaha Townmate Haynes manual, obviously for this thing. And oh. this, the second thing to arrive is this fella right here. Hello. This, uh, this young handsome chap is going to help me with this bike today. So uh, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to start stripping it down and having a look at it. We're going to find out if this is the 50cc or if this is the 80cc engine and we're just going to improvise from there we might see if we can get it running or we might just start taking some bits off so are you ready to go i think so well let's get on with it then right first things first then we are going to take off uh, little towny skirt and see what's up there so uh, we've already undone the bolts it's actually just come straight off get it lad there we are. Nice, all in one piece. Could maybe uh, use that in the winter for getting down some slopes. Okay, Kieran's going to do the wing mirror for me. Because uh, it keeps getting in the way. I keep catching it, so we're going to take that off. That way around. Coming off like a boss. Managed to bag myself a cabinet from a school so that I can put town mate bits in it. There we are, there's the wing mirror. And as a tip, if anybody wants uh, any storage, my advice would be go and hang around outside schools. Because oh <laughs> they are the most wasteful organisations you have ever met. They throw all sorts away. Here we are then. Let's have a look, see if we can find out if we've got a 50 or an 80. Mm. It's normally printed or cast somewhere into the engine. I can Here see. Here found it. So we're going to do the big reveal. So, John, uh, you may have gone ahead and bagged yourself a juicy 7.9 CM3. Hey, so we've got an 80 or technically a 79, but that's good. It's the larger of the two possible engines. What it does mean is that this is not the original engine for this frame. It's still registered as a 50, so I'm gonna have to um, mm. inform the DVLA about that. Tell the uh, appropriate authorities. Yeah, but at least we've got the bigger engine, so. Boom! We might actually be able to achieve 35 miles an hour. Blistering speeds! Assuming it actually works, so maybe that's the next step. Well now we've got the skirt off, you can see underneath what we've got. And the carburetor is there, looking a little bit on the crusty side. Check out the uh, sweet action of the throttle return there. Go for it. Mmm, mm. smooth. Silky. And the barrel itself looks a little bit on the rusty side. Patina, I think they call it. But again, it's all basically there, so that's good news. So we will have a look in the airbox to see what the filter looks like. Have a look maybe in the carburetor to see what the carburetor looks like. Check we've got some oil. Maybe check the valve timing, uh, the valve timing, the valve clearances. And then we'll uh, see how we feel about starting it. Kieran's discovered then that there is actually a spark plug in it, which is good news. So we're just going to have a quick look at that. Out she comes. Eventually. What we got? Okay. So slightly wet, as uh, I sometimes like it. But I think that's not necessarily the best look for a spark plug. No, but it's the only one we've got for now, so I have mm. to clean that one up and give it a whirl. What are you doing, boss? Oh, <laughs> it all innocent, honest. Um, getting me uh, penetrating luby spray ready. Give a little squirt inside. Down spark plug hole. Yeah. Into the barrel. A little safety precaution for working over any old engine, just so it's not. Uh, Plowing away dry. Yeah, obviously there's not uh, not going to be any oil in there. This bike's not been run for many, many years, so it will be very dry down there. We're going to try and move the uh, piston by hand, so we're just lubricating that a little bit just to try and ease that process. So the spark plug's still out, and we've put a little bit of WD-40 down uh, down the barrel there, down the hill, and just let that sit for a little while. So we're just going to use the Kickstarter to see if we can move that piston up and down and see if it's actually free to move or if it's completely seized. So Kieran, if you'd be so kind. 
<sighs> Good luck to you, sir. Cha-ching! Got some interesting noises. Whoop, 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 whoop. Kind of like, feel like. A, maybe there's a turkey in there. Let's have a go. Seems reasonably strong. Yeah, I would say that's not seized. Just here, look. Come to see how we're getting on, have you, D? Oh, bye then. We have just cleaned and gapped the spark plug, which should have been 0 0.6, 0 0.7 mil gap, and it was, so that was fine. And we were just testing to see if we could get some spark on it, and have discovered that the key that was provided is not the key for the bike so we're not going to be able to turn the ignition on no! so we could start taking that apart and trying to bodge the ignition but i think for now we'll leave it and just move on with some other things right so Kieran's just leaning this bike over for me because i wasn't entirely sure there's any oil in there it just looks sort of oil colored down the window but uh, when you lean it over it doesn't actually move so i think it is entirely empty and it's just an oil colored window so just probably dirty drop the uh, sump bolt and just see if anything comes out other than dust other than dust and moths and worms and slugs slugs perhaps here we go then it's a 17 mil and we're going to just going to drop it and see if anything comes out okay easy enough we've obviously gone a bit up market and raided our local hospital you, what you, in the face dog Get out of the way! Anyway. Always a dog in the face on, make it better. Oh, there, there it goes. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. I, I, think, I think she's spent. She is dry as a bone. Okay, so that's the grand sum of oil that came out of the uh, engine there. Mm. Right, next, we are going to have a look inside the airbox and work our way down through the carburetor, do the valve clearances, Hopefully try and find an ignition key that will work and then see if we can get it started. Once I know that this bike runs, then we're probably going to start taking it apart a little bit more uh, thoroughly. So access is a bit tricky there, we've just taken that off in two sections. What's inside it boss? Um, looks to be something you could use to sieve flour for making a cake. I'm seeing no foam in there. No, it does there not appear. Clearly no foam in there, so that's something I'll need. Okie dokie, we're going to now remove the carburetor and see uh, what's going on with that. There right, there we are then. Carburetor is off. Let's have a look inside. Just had a quick look at the carburetor. How's your ring piece? Well, my ring piece is truly, truly, truly shagged. So that should sit just there. That's where it joins onto the engine block itself. And that is raged. Some pasty gubbins. So I've just moved over to the bench. We're gonna have a little quick inspection inside here. I'm not gonna go into, uh, into it too deeply. We're just gonna see what the state of it is on preliminary inspection. Well, we managed to get the float ball off uh, this little piece came with it I'm not entirely sure that should happen I think that's stuck in there but I'm not entirely sure uh, but it does look to have some crap in there so it's gonna need cleaning out I think what I might do with this is mm -hmm. um, take it for ultrasonic cleaning uh, have you we'll been having your cereal in there yeah yeah in my bowl based on the amount of crap that's in his carburetor I think this is going to be a more substantial rebuild than the one we did on the Honda CG125. So mm. I think we're going to put a little bit of carburetor cleaner in here and let it sit for a while. Because what I want to do, I want to see if I can get this bike running. And, and running well, hopefully. Yeah, in the long run running well, but for now I just want to see if I can get it running before we start doing too much more. 
and as I just mentioned I'm not sure if I've put that in this video or not but I do plan on taking this carburetor and having it properly ultrasonically cleaned and I'm just going to do a bit of a bodge job for now just to get it running so we're going to put some carb cleaner in here I'll probably just leave it to sit maybe overnight see what happens if I don't, don't carry on knocking stuff over okie dokie then what have we just done Kieran well anything that can hold fluid uh, we've filled it full of fluid specifically the old carb cleaner um, and as I said we'll kind of let them sit and stew for a little while to do its business uh, should get things uh, functional yeah you can see we've taken out the main jet and the pilot jet and sat that in a bath of carburetor cleaner now that's probably just going to evaporate off over time but hopefully it will do some good before it disappears so I think while that's doing its business, we might have a look at the valve clearances. As you can see then, the uh, valve inspection caps, there's one here and one at the bottom, they are pretty gnarly. They're a little bit sort of uh, funky with corrosion of some kind, so we're just gonna try and clean those up before we try and remove them. Bit of a stiffy. Yeah. Bowser. I can see the uh, <coughs> hefty grunt that you're putting in there. It's not having it. Time for the leverager tron. <sighs> Holy monkey spanners. So that should not be on that tight. <laughs> Errors. Are there any moles inside? Just nope. some valves. You're in one piece. Significantly less effort required there. So I've taken the inspection caps off top and bottom. I've just taken the two screw things out of here. So this should pop off now. With a bit of a wiggle. With a bit of a wiggle. And we've got to align the T mark on this wheel, which I think must be that little line there, with an adjacent mark on the crankcase, which I think is probably this nubbins here. So we're going to investigate that and find out. Obviously with the cover off now, we can get access to this nut, which is 17, and we're going to turn it until that line meets up with this little pointy arrow thing just here. And we need to be on the compression stroke, and we'll know we're on the compression stroke because we'll be able to feel a little bit of play in the top and the bottom valve and that's the gap that we need to measure so it's just a case of turning in the right direction anti-clockwise until the line meets the indicator there right we have just done the valve clearances and it was just the same as any other valve clearance job on any other sort of classic-y oldie motorbike mm. it's just the lock nut type which we did on the CG125 and also on the Suzuki address so if you need more specifics about how to do that check it out maybe check out one of those videos in terms of the gaps um, let's see if we can have a look in the manual here for this focus the inlet gap should be 0 0.05 to 0 0.1 mil and the exhaust gap should be 0 0.075 to 0 0.125 mil. And that's obviously, as I say with all these valve jobs, when the engine is stone cold. Steve Absolutely Austin. Absolutely cold. Um, this engine has not run for approximately 10 years, so I think this is probably cold enough. Mm. In, in other news, this rear guard is, is quite a convenient head-shaped resting point. All right. I'm glad you're enjoying that. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm happy that the valve clearances are now correct. Uh, we're going to clean up the carburetor a little bit um, another day. And we probably should put some oil in. Mm. Try and find a key for the ignition. Put the spark plug back in. And then we'll see about putting some petrol in and firing her up. Ba-boom! But for now, as ever... Duty to, calls. Yeah, we have to go to work. So that'll have to be it for today. And we'll see how long this video is. We might do another one. Separate to this, or I might just tag some more stuff on the end of this. But for now, from us at least, well, goodbye. goodbye.
the smooth, silky noises <laughs> of this trusty steed suspension. Look at that action. <laughs> <laughs> 